So you've been involved now for a few years. How have you seen the development of people getting interested in the product, people responding to the product? You had a very favorable outlook on it, it sounds, or potential for it. Has it lived up to that in pulling people in, talking about it, seeing how people respond to it? It is not difficult to explain to people what HARP is. It's not difficult to get them excited about how it can affect or change the world. It is something that something on an airplane or an elevator, when you say to them, it's a, these are natural compounds, naturally occurring compounds that with the science that the team is bringing are capable of killing weeds and being used in conjunction with existing chemistry or being used even in organic situations to replace existing chemistry. Everybody understands you know, what, what the, uh, most people understand what, for example, Roundup is, and they understand what a natural alternative, even one that can work with Roundup is. So from that perspective, I think selling people, telling people, exciting people about why this could change the world is not a difficult thing to do. What might have gone wrong in the last four or five years since we had those meetings at the convention in London, would the science stand up to it? And it does. Would the trials show the benefits? And they do. Are the trials being done in famous institutes, places that people will have confidence in? Are they being done by researchers who've got credibility? All of that is happening. The IP, the intellectual property, they already had a patent pending. Now they're building more and more patents around this area, looking at different ways in which it could be used with different plants, with different other organic compounds to make it penetrate the plant so you get a systemic ability to control the weed so it doesn't just simply die and grow back. All of those parts as you look along, and not least the team itself, you know, people like Bill Buckner, veteran of the industry, tremendously versed in all of the challenges, but also extremely respected. His name, his reputation goes without saying. Our rocket scientist in Chad, who really has visions of the ways in which we can do things differently. Daniel, obviously a great communicator. And then the consultants and one, not least the board of directors that we've assembled. I think that all the pieces have really gone extremely well. You never know. I've worked with a lot of startups that have done good things. Harper are doing great things. That for me is the difference.